Yo guys, Trickster here. A lot of you guys are having problems booting up PS2 games on Emu VR. Just you're clicking on the system and it's trying to start up but doesn't. So I'm going to show you guys how to fix that real quick. Uh, so let me switch over to my desktop. My PC is ultra wide so sorry if it looks a bit weird. So what you want to do is open Screen Made Pack or your uh, Emu VR that you've got set up already. I'm going to use this pre-made one so then there's nothing there to uh, get it working already or anything. It's like a fresh setup. You can also download this pre-made pack in the comments down below in case you guys want it with Wii UX already installed and everything. So when you've got that, open it up, go into games, add a folder called PS2. This is only if you haven't already done it or this is already. Uh, and then I'm going to grab a game to put in my PS2 folder. So, uh, I'm get it from my other Amy VR folder. Size, smallest one, destroy all humans too. So, in the Amy VR's main, di main directory, uh, games, and then a folder in there where these are, say, an example from system folder, all that stuff. And go on Game Scanner, gamescanner.exe, more info, run it anywhere and then uh, give it a second then click add a folder and then go into where Emu VR is open up games highlight the PS2 and click select folder and click save changes download missing cores ok update core data ok scan for games and it's to one new game detected easy peasy alright and then when it's done that, this is going to be the same issue that you guys are currently experiencing. Uh, run it anywhere. So I'm going to recreate that issue for you guys so you know you know what to uh, do. And then my setup will be the same as yours then. Um, so when, when we're in, uh, this is an empty room. Grab your PS2, put it there. Oh, I've gone a bit far. Uh, click get your PS2 game. Open up your PS2, put your disc inside, close the disc tray, get some screen. Uh, I'm going to use a huge CRT and then connect them. This is the issue you guys are having. So when you click play, it just doesn't boot. No matter how many times you press it, nothing. So we're going to fix that right now. So what you're going to do is go to this web page, archive.org. Uh, it should look like this system it's archive.org it's not mine so I reckon it's fine or Sony would have taken it down um, uh, so then what you do is show all and then you should see all this and you should see one called system.rar so you're going to click on that wait for it to download and then when you've done that go into EmuVR's folder here where exe is click on retroarch folder then system folder and then open up the system.rar you see all these scph, ps2 bios, all these, drag and drop them into the system folder inside retroarch, inside emuvr's main directory if, you, if you're still having problems uh, just copy all the files again into system pcsx2 um, and then copy it into pcsx2 bios in there so then it'd be Retroarch, in EmuVR's folder, uh, system, all these in here, and then also open PCSX2, open BIOS, put it in there. You could even try just opening system, opening PCSX2, and maybe just dropping it in there. Um, but as soon as EmuVR catches it, it should, uh, should boot. So open desktop, give it a second to load like always you know what it's like uh, so I need to get the PS2 out get a, uh, get a disc there we go soil you want to open it up put it in there uh, close it get us, get us a screen a uh, huge CRT to connect it up and now it should work There we go. It now boots up and it'll play the game that is inside it. 
Um, if the game lags or anything, uh, you should follow my tutorial I have on my channel uh, called how to play any console or system or any game in EMU VR because uh, this emulator here is pretty out of date now. So again, let's uh, run through it again. Get your EMU VR folder, go in system, I mean go, when you're in the folder go in RetroArch, go into system inside the RetroArch folder copy all the BIOS in the download um, hold on, let me get it back up for you guys in the system that you downloaded and I'll put all the BIOS in the system folder if that doesn't work, put it in the PCSX2 folder if that doesn't work, put it in the BIOS FIDER folder inside PCSX2 so again, links for links for the download of this system.rar and links for the download of my pre-made pack will also be in the description down below so that's that, thank you guys so much for watching, leave a like if this helped in any way, I appreciate, appreciate you guys so much, if you don't believe me, you'd never believe me how much I appreciate it, so I'll see you guys in the next one, peace. Thank you.